Oh my god. Okay, we are not gonna watch this. Oh, but I cannot stand Kingdom Hearts. Uh, who was it? Wait, who was it that recommended a good enough summary of Kingdom Hearts in the Discord? Who recommended this? Because I clicked this and I was like, oh, a summary of Kingdom Hearts. Let's see it. I clicked on it, right? 33 minutes. This isn't even all Kingdom Hearts. I saw there were multiple parts. This is just for this is just for one. There's also another 33 minute one for for Kingdom Hearts 2 and one for 3. But rah, the the storyline, the plot that is Kingdom Hearts 33 minutes. This is a video essay. This is a long video essay of a Kingdom Hearts game cuz the plot's so complicated. And now I'm going to lose my mind cuz Kingdom Hearts is crazy. <laughs> Hearts 1 and like a third of Kingdom Hearts 2, but I've always been fascinated minutes, by the series. I mean, of the what first does game. any of this mean? So I sat down with this good boy Gam and he explained everything to me for seven hours. Okay, yes, but it's a lot stupider than you think. And Dude, we'll get to that in a long time. All and right. I'm still angry. Like, okay. And now I'm going to explain everything same to you in slightly That's what it does less to time. Oh, please treat any non accuracy. Literally, same body but language. But before we plunge headfirst into the terror that awaits us, hours. there's some stuff you just gotta accept about the world of Kingdom Hearts. I don't wanna. One. Hearts are not literally hearts. They're kind of like a person's soul, but more okay. like their emotional soul, I guess. Two, You're an light emotional equals soul. good and dark equals bad. And these are not metaphor, they're tangible forces within the universe. Three, if you lose your heart or it's overcome by darkness, it turns into one of these little soul, guys called it. a heartless. Four, Wait, a body without a okay. heart is an empty husk that turns into one of these slithery dudes, a nobody. Okay, so you lose your heart, you create both a heartless and a nobody. Simple enough. Is it? Five. Is that so simple? Is it simple that you lose your heart and you don't just die, but instead become two things that are not you, that are thus separate entities? What happens to you? Are you dead? Is that still you? Your heart is now a little thing and your your body is a bigger thing? Does that make sense? You want me to just accept if it? If you're strong-willed well, enough, it. your husk turns into a special kind of nobody that looks like you and can talk and stuff. What? Wait, wait, okay, wait, 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 wait. sure. No. Create both a heartless and a nobody. Simple enough. It's not Five. simple. If you're strong-willed enough, your husk turns into a special kind of nobody that looks like you oh. and can talk and stuff. Right. Okay, sure, if fine, strong, why not? If you have a strong Six. will, then, if then you're the still you. If both the heartless cool. and nobody are destroyed, cool. the original person is made whole again. And whole people are called okay. somebody's. Just... I, oh, I you know, can become I know. whole! Seven. There's Wait, why Disney would you become... and Final Fantasy <laughs> That's the world, right? You have somebodies and nobodies and hearts and souls. And you're alive, but then you're also dead. But then when you become alive again, are you still you? But you're somebody now, but you look like you. But are you still you? And who knows? But then also, there's Final Fantasy characters and Disney characters. <laughs> ah! Like, we're in a world where uh, Stitch is here, Lama, Stitch Boy, and Cloud. Did you know they could be best friends? They're in the same world. They could be. Um, Does it make any sense? No. Characters everywhere. And retcons. Eight. This is more of a personal retcons, note, but I find it easier everywhere. to take this all in if you consider it more of an avant-garde interactive art piece than a traditional narrative. Okay, let's dive in. Uh -huh. Mickey, take the wheel. Let's Kingdom dive Hearts in. That was the intro. We start in Destiny of the Islands, and if you think that name game. is heavy-handed now, just you wait. There's a bunch of kids running around, but we only care about three of them: Sora, okay. the plucky one; Riku, the angsty one; and Kairi, the milk toast girl with no discernible personality traits whatsoever. Woo, milk now, toast Despite having their own cluster of islands to call their own, these kids decide it's not enough and build a raft to go on their own adventures. But suddenly, shroop, a big old portal opens up and Heartless start pouring out. Sora tries to fight them and is absolutely useless until shwe, a keyblade suddenly appears in his hand. And he's all like, no. Now, keyblades aren't just big keys. Okay, what are keyblades? Well, I mean, they are, but they're also big metaphorical keys. They can destroy darkness and repair worlds and just generally do whatever the developers need them to do at that moment. And also, they're sort of like Harry Potter ones where they choose their master, kinda. So Sora beats the crap out of some Heartless, and then Riku's they're like, dude, this evil portal is totally Harry. sweet. And Sora's like, I don't know, man, that looks like a bad time. And Riku's like, I'm gonna go through there. Nope. You should come too. Nuh-uh. Okay then. Yeah. I'll just, nope, here I go. You should not. Yeah, through the spooky through portal. The and then everything explodes. And Sora goes flying. Portal. Kairi sort of phases through Sora. Why? Yeah, that's a little weird. That's Elsewhere, weird. Mickey Mouse, yes! 
Mickey Mouse, did I stutter? Is like, I gotta go, see you later, huh? And Donald and Goofy are like, Why is uh, Mickey Mouse here? What? You're the king. You can't just find the keyblade wielder. Bye bye. <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. So after exploding and flying through space for a while, Sora wakes stomach. up in this strange city with bumping stomach. music Donald called Traverse Town. He meets up with Donald and Goofy, who are uh. like, Is that a keyblade? And Sora's like, Don't. Touch it. Meanwhile, Riku gracefully friend? emerges from his creepy portal thing and meets up with Maleficent from Sleeping Beauty. And she's like, <laughs> Riku, you should Sleeping totally Beauty's join here. me. Look, Sora doesn't even care about you anymore. He has new friends now. And Riku's <laughs> like, these vibes I'm getting from you are definitely trustworthy. Bad so Sora vibes. teams up with Dobbled and Goombi so they can find their friends. They travel through a bunch of Disney worlds that literally do not matter whatsoever. Like, it's fine if you want to hang out with the adorable little now. teacup from Beauty and the Beast and this this guy over here, Chub play the tub, fine, Chub but it does tub. not matter to He's the story. He's my favorite character in, in <clears throat> Little Mermaid. Eventually, they wind up at a big old castle called Hollow Bastion. Riku pops up, and Sora's <laughs> like, Riku, my Bart's friend, after being in. separated for so long, I have finally found you. Finally. And Riku's like, uh, girl, that Keyblade's only been hanging out with you to make me jealous. And Keyblade Chan swoops on over to Riku Kun. Oh, scoots, says Sora. Well, it doesn't matter. With Donald and Goofy at my side, we can't. Uh, our allegiance is with the Keyblade, not you, Sora. Whoa! Wait, 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 they be traitor, dude! Yo, Goofy, what the fuck? I thought you were one of the good ones, bruh. I didn't expect this from Donald, but Goofy. <laughs> Then Sora has a mopey road trip with Beast from Beauty and the Beast until they isn't, discover this super spooky room wait, with a giant- Wait, isn't Goofy like a dog? Dog's supposed to be loyal and shit? What the hell? Keyhole and a bunch of sleeping Disney princesses. Riku's in Goofy the corner with Keyblade Chan you going, Oh the yeah, chance. and then what Damn. did he say? Oh girl, he did not. Wow, what a creep, ha ha ha. But then Sora delivers this badass monologue about friendship and hearts and stuff, and Keyblade Chan gets all flustered and tsundere and swoops back on over to Sora. <laughs> he's all, <laughs> nice. Riku goes, oh yeah, well, at least they still have Ansem, and Sora's like, uh, who's Ansem? And Riku's like, this super evil dude that's possessing me. He was also like, totally pulling Maleficent's strings or whatever. And she's like, it be like that though. And Sora goes, you what, mate? Like and also, Kyrie has been drooling face down in the corner this whole time, but nobody knows. Is Kyrie okay? That. Is Milk Ch is Milk Toast girl okay? Someone should check on her. That boring beast, who has been awkwardly in the room this whole time, points her out. And after a few minutes, they remember who <laughs> is she, she dead? is. Kyrie cries. Sora. Never Riku okay. drones on for a while about how Kyrie's the last princess. Ansem needs for his evil scheme. And also remember when Destiny Islands blew up and Kyrie went uh, through Sora? Yeah, her heart has been inside of Sora this what? whole time. Sora goes, Ew, OMG, what and happens? commits it's Sudoku with his keyblade. This frees said. Kyrie's heart and revives her. Yay! This also but then why frees wasn't Sora's she a heart, somebody? So he's a heart. But then why, wait, 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 wait. Then why wasn't she a somebody this whole time? Cause she had a strong will or whatever. So it just made her like, instead of all evil, just made her like in incapacitated like a little baby. This yeah. also frees Sora's heart. So he's a heartless now. <laughs> Boo. Oh. But Kyrie's like, That's Bibby, bad. Bobby, day six, machina, binge. And Sora turns back to normal, <laughs> which contradicts everything we understand about how any of this works, what but happened? sure, fine. <laughs> Ansem sees all this and is like, seriously, like I checked the wiki and they use the word so Somehow, uh, whatever, I'm out of peace. And Sora follows him to Destiny Islands, but now it's all destroyed, so it's depressed in the islands. Depressed in the islands, no! Ansem and Sora have a good old fashioned anime showdown. You know, Sora believes in himself, Ansem turns into a boat, and the player mashes X a lot until Ansem is like, Why All right, is he whatever. A boat? I'm gonna open the door to uh, Kingdom Hearts, which is the source of all hearts, and it's all darkness in there and stuff. I love darkness. Source Check out my tattoo. And Sora's like, All right, fine, open it, you <laughs> dollar store goth. Darkness. And Sora fumbles with his Oakleys for a moment because guess what? It's light. Ansem is all curses, foiled, oh, uh, bingus, dad, bongus, I didn't and he explodes. Any Sora tries to close the door to Kingdom Hearts, but he can't. Oh no! Until guess what? I get why it's called Kingdom Wait, how Hearts is he in now. There? And guess what? Mickey. Uh, why? Why are they Where's in his there? Shirt? Remember this? It's important. I swear, do not forget. Riku and Mickey help close the door from the inside, and Bingus. Ew, is that what Mickey looks like without his shirt? Well, he's got little nips like that. That's weird. Longest bablamo. All the broken <laughs> worlds go back to normal, and everybody returns to Destiny Islands. And Sora is yeah. like, "Okay, I'll be back. I gotta go save Riku and Mickey." And Kyrie just kind of stands there because she has no agency and is barely a character. Okay. Chain of memories. Oh no, Five there's Five minutes later, one. Sora's walking down a road with Dorbald and Goblin when a hooded figure he, arrives and mumbles dude, something. Dude, it's always bad. It's always bad in these anime, like, weeby type games when they get the Ari involved. About I mysteries. Just, I'm so sus. 
They continue down the path and arrive at Castle Oblivion. There's Larxene and Marluxia and Axel and Lexius and Zexion this and Gex, game I, I mean Vexen, also known mental. as all the sweet live journal blogs used to follow in middle school. They take turns showing up to do something mysterious and then Sora blows them up. Except yeah, Axel, he survives because he had the biggest anime hair of them all. Meanwhile, so Sora's big. losing his memories. Oh, look like a big the further he moves into the castle, the more his real memories get replaced by fake memories. Well, like, he starts remembering this girl oh, who kind of looks like Kairi, but she's not. She's got different hair and almost She's a personality. Blonde. Her name is Naminé. And Sora's Nominate. like, I don't remember anything else, so I better find this Naminé. She seems important and was along for adventures this whole time. You also, look I like feel you like I want to give her a smooch. A few games of poker later, Sora finally reaches <laughs> Naminé. She's smoochie? like, yeah, I stole all your memories. You'll have to take a nap oh. so I can restore them, but you'll forget everything from this game. You won't even remember me. But Sora's already asleep I don't in this trust, big old fancy pot. I don't trust this blonde, Kyrie. <laughs> What's going Durlap on Durlap and Gruff share the economy class pot, and they deserve it for <laughs> wasting all the health potions you had one job! Dude, Meanwhile, they would. Riku and Mickey just kind of leave Kingdom Hearts. Riku takes the wake up floating in a void option, then teleports into Castle Oblivion. What is uh, happening? He ventures through the castle, but doesn't lose his memories because Naminé only got eyes for Sora. Know what I mean? Who is he meets a bunch Naminé? of those hooded weirdos, which, by the way, all belong to a group slash cult called Organization 13. More on that in a bit. And later runs okay, into a clone a of himself. Why? Riku's like, whoa, it's a clone of me, sweet. And the clone is like, like, no, you're the clone. My name is Replica Riku. No, wait a minute, why is Replica? <laughs> no, you're the clone. My name's Replica. You're the clone, My bitch. Name. So Riku kicks him a few times, wow. and Replica Riku explodes. Wow. Then Riku bumps into this red mummy named Diz, and he's like, don't worry about me for now. Actually, don't worry about any of I'm this. Worried. You got like five games to go before things start to make I'm sense. And then Mickey worried. hops on Riku's back and is like, well, I'm going to help you control your darkness better. Let's go. The next game is Kingdom Hearts 2, which starts with not Sora, but with this guy, Roxas. No! What's they bring it in the Roxas, brother. Roxas is like Sora, but it's not right. So, and we need to no, first check okay, out Roxas, uh, 358 over two days. So, okay, again, remember when Sora had a Sudoku oh, and released no. Kyrie's heart and turned himself into a heartless? That also created Sora's nobody, who wakes up in Twilight Town one day, all boopity boopity, where the poopity oh, am I? God, He's still why is his soul also him, but in a different body, but it's a little imp thing, but it's not him? I'm so confused, it makes no sense. Who are these little imp things? Where do they go? What do they, what do they symbolize? Buddy, he wakes up in Twilight Town one day, all boobity boopity, Boobie where the poopity Bobby? am I? He's found by this weirdo <laughs> named Xemnas, who's like, Welcome to Organization 13. Here's your spooky cloak and how to infuriatingly speak in riddles, Oh, he's guy. a part of a cult. Also, your name is <laughs> Roxas. Xemnas <laughs> introduces Roxas to the rest of the Breakfast oh, Club. Oh. Luxor, Demix, Syx, Zaldin, I see, he was named Zibbar, by the cult. Why later. not? And, hey, we know these guys. This game takes place at the same time as Chain of Memories, so you, you got okay. some characters going back and forth between the two, it's super. Roxas goes on adventures around Disney World and becomes best buds with one organization member in particular. Axel. They eat ice cream and just totally bro. The big it's hair guy cute. is back. Then Xemnas is like, yo, him. some stuff is going down at Castle Oblivion. Who's in? And a bunch of Organization 13 members head over there, including Axel, and then that ties in the chain of memories. Then a new character pops up, the 14th member of oh. Organization 13. Oh, what? Her name is Shion, and she's like, I'm weird. I don't know who I am. And for good reason. You're probably reason, a heartless or soulless or somebody or nobody. Check, who heck you uh, know? replica of Sora created by Xemnas using the memories Nominate took from no Sora. No way! This is another Sora, bruh! There's no way! What do you mean this is another Sora? In case Roxas ended up not going along with Xemnas' crazy schemes. And thanks to Naminé, some of Sora's memories wound up in Roxas too. So Shion pieces out in an attempt to save us all from having to understand what's going on, but Xemnas captures Sorry? her and reprograms her to make her attack Roxas. Because if Shion defeats Roxas, then Sora will never be able to get his memories back. Whoa. Whoa. But Roxas defeats so Shion many? and she's like, Cough, Splutter, you gotta merge with Sora and defeat Xemnas. And Roxas is like, What's a Sora? Is that a type of ice cream? But before she can reply, what? she porfs into Roxas. Dang. What? Riku shows up because, sure, why not? And he's like, okay, Roxas, time to go back to Sora. And Roxas is like, I don't want to. Is that it? Also, whom's this Sora? And Riku's like, fine, sit inside the computer simulation until you cool it's only off. A one third, and Roxas is like, what are any of these words you're saying? I don't, this is me right now. That's me. Which leads us what to are these Kingdom Hearts words? 2. 
We meet up with Roxas. So goth girl was also Sora, but then her plan failed, so she just poofed, and now she's gone? Of Twilight she Town, except he lost most of his memories and doesn't know he's inside a computer. And I mean, we're not supposed to either, because 358 over two days released like four years after Kingdom Hearts 2, but trust me, it's just easier to understand oh this way. So Roxas has his weird summer break and eats lots of ice cream and experiences a bunch of brain freezes and glitches in the Matrix until one day Axel shows up. And he's all like, Roxas, you're in a computer, I'm your friend. And Roxas is like, what's a computer? Then he meets Nomine, <laughs> who goes, you're Sora's oh, nobody. Nominee. And Roxas is like, whoa. What's a nobody? He doesn't understand what's going on, but that's okay because neither do we. Yeah, he finally I don't runs know what's into Diz, either. who goes, Look, just merge with Sora and everything will be cool. And Roxas goes, Okay, but there See, better I like be Roxas. ice cream there. So he <laughs> absorbs out of the computer cream. and into Sora, and Sora finally wakes up with okay. all of his memories back. Okay. Minus everything that happened in so Chain now of they Memories. Are and I guess Dallas and Gomet wake and up Roxas too. Doesn't whatever. Exist Mickey, anymore. now in a badass hoodie, sends them off to meet the wizard. And a now wonderful wizard named Disney. I mean, Yen Sid. And he looks like this. Yen Sid goes, First oh my of God. all, those oh my outfits God. have Yen to Sid go. Zippers are out. Belts are in. Second, <laughs> you need your driver's license. He go visit now. more Disney worlds. So they visit some more merchandising opportunities and keep bumping <laughs> into Maleficent, now joined by Pete. And, and then they sell and lots of And a bunch of, of those Organization 13 weirdos, they just don't quit, do they? At one point, there's a battle with a million billion heartless. Okay, so here's the thing. So, okay, so you have Kingdom Hearts, right? You have this lore, the soulless thing, the somebody thing, the nobody thing. Whatever, I get it. Okay, I get it. I get it. The hearts, hearts are important, souls are important. And then you have Disney. Okay, I understand. It's a Disney world. World. But why, on top of the heartless and the darkness and the soulless and the Disney characters, do you also have Final Fantasy characters in cloaks and a cult? Why? 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 It's a damn plot stew. Goofy gets hit by a boulder and dies. Yeah. Wait, Goofy's He's... dead? They just murdered Goofy. Somewhere in all this mess, we get a big ol' exposition dump. A while ago, there was a nice bearded man okay. named- Okay, I'm done. I can't do it anymore. Are they gonna explain why Edgy Mickey is a thing? Is he going through a phase? Not a phase, Mom. Huh? Y'all have made me lose my mind. I've never done a Mickey impression before.